name is Crystal Thompson. I'm a food and lifestyle photographer based in Los Angeles. Today we shot at Otonio, which is a Spanish tapas restaurant in Highland Park and the east side of Los Angeles. The space is beautiful, the chef is awesome, she's really talented, super passionate, and every plate is gorgeous. My plan for the aesthetic of this shoot is to let the food be the star. I really wanted to do a big overhead of all of the offerings. For overhead, you need everything to look like it's equally the star of the show. I shot this particular image with the Fuji X-T3 and I brought the 16mm 1.4 lens. One of the struggles for this particular shoot was the changing light and the Fujifilm camera made it really easy to handle that because all of the settings are in one place. For this particular shoot, we had bright sun for most of it, so I had to stop down a little bit more than usual, so having to go up to like 5.6, it just works perfectly. So you're using sort of all of the pieces to put together as a puzzle, if you will, to make one big successful plate, one big successful image. So after I've shot, I then bring everything into Lightroom. I want to treat all my selects as one catalog because they're all going to the same client so they need to look consistent. I'm looking at vibrancy, I'm looking at contrast, making sure the highlights aren't too crazy but still bringing the whites up so that it really pops, especially on a social feed. For this particular location where I'll spend a lot of time is making sure that each of those plates in the final image is treated as an individual. They're all in one frame but when I go into post I'm going to treat them like separate pieces. So I'm masking specific plates and then treating each color, each channel really, as its own thing. If highlights need to be brought up on one image but not the whole thing, then I'll go in and sort of treat everything Thing one by one. I export out of Lightroom and then I bring anything that needs to be kind of more fine-tuned into Photoshop. Um, it could be a little bit of compositing that needs to be done. Any kind of last minute, more fine-tuned post-production, I'll do it that way. I love to eat, I love to cook, I love learning about food, I love food culture, I love learning about ingredients. And so using photography to capture that kind of content has just been the best.